Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Zegalady Gamer, and welcome back, you guys, to another Call of Duty Infinite Warfare video. In today's video, guys, I'm going to be bringing you the best class setup for the K bar. So, the K bar is definitely one of the best guns to use in this game. Definitely with these attachments I'm about to show you, it's definitely going to utilize the full potential of the gun. And you're going to be seeing that with this gun, even though they did nerf it a couple of weeks ago, it's still one of the best guns to use. So, if you guys do enjoy this best class setup video, make sure you guys do definitely drop a like. And if you are new here to my channel, make sure you do definitely subscribe for some more Call of Duty content, but anyway, let's get straight on into the video. So the K-Bar is definitely the weapon of choice that I use when I'm just going to be tryharding or getting the most amount of kills. It's definitely the best gun to do that. So anyway, let's get into the attachments I'm using. I'm using four attachments and three perks. Now, I don't use a third perk where this gun, I don't use that. In fact, I just use a lot of attachments just because I feel like you need those attachments to make this gun very good. And some guns, you do need to have a lot of attachments and then other guns such as the NV4, you don't need a lot of attachments but with this gun I do feel like it does have some weak points that it makes it a little bit ugly without attachments but with this attachment setup it's definitely going to make this gun a very strong one so anyway let's get to the attachments I'm using so the first attachment is the red dot sight now the red dot sight is something that I like to use a lot with the K bar just for the fact that the iron sights are not very good they're not very clear for me and I have a lot of trouble um, killing people from a longer range just because the iron sights are mainly just used for close range distances so that's why the red dot sight or even the E side is definitely going to enhance your accuracy and you're going to be seeing that you're winning gunfights from a longer range so that is the first attachment i'm using for this gun now the next attachment that i use is quick draw quick draw is definitely an attachment that i do like to use on any kind of gun just because it allows you to win the gunfights and increasing your chances of winning a gunfight is something huge in call of duty and trust me once you get the first shots on the enemies it's definitely going to be very easy to kill them and it's definitely going to increase your chances of winning a gunfight so quick draw is definitely the attachment that i like to use now the next attachment attachment that I use is foregrip. Now foregrip is something very important with this gun just because it's not a gun like the MV4 which has no recoil. It does, does definitely have a lot of recoil and I feel the need to have foregrip. Even there is going to be a lot of recoil still even when you do put on the foregrip attachment but I do feel like the foregrip attachment definitely makes this gun a little bit more stable and easier to use and you're going to be at ease when you're shooting at mid ranges with this gun but like I said at longer ranges this gun's recoil will kick up a little bit so that's why I do feel the need to run grip with this gun. Now the next attachment that I'm using is a favorable attachment of mine when I'm using assault rifles and that's going to be stock. Now stock is something very good. When you're peeking around corners or when you're just at a longer range gunfight, it's definitely going to give you an advantage when you use stock because it increases your maneuverability and when you do that, you're just a lot more mobile and when you walk around and the ability to also run and also um, be a little bit more accurate when you're aiming, it's just something huge and it's definitely going to help you out with assault rifles mainly. I don't use this attachment with SMGs just because it doesn't really help me out as well just because with an smg you're mainly going to be in close range distances and pretty much strictly only that but with an assault rifle of course it's definitely a big benefit when you throw on stock because it allows you to peek corners very easily and you're definitely going to have advantage in gunfights so that is pretty much the attachments i'm using for this gun it's definitely a very solid attachment setup and definitely with these four attachments it will definitely bring out the full potential of the gun now let's get into the perks that i'm using i'm not using a lot of perks just because i sacrificed a lot of attachments just be just because i feel like you need those attachments to make this gun a very good one and to get rid of the ugly parts of the gun now let's get into the perks i'm using so the first perk i'm using is ghost now ghost is definitely in my opinion the number one perk to use in call of duty it's definitely going to give you a big advantage and to most people the minimap is something very vital i mean a lot of people including me just look at the minimap constantly once they see that red dot they're just going to go there immediately and it's just going to do that without even thinking it's just a habit that a lot of people have but when you take away the ability for from that from people by using ghost it's definitely going to help you because ghost is going to allow you to stay off the mini map and it's definitely something very good especially if they have a uav up on the other enemy team it's definitely going to help you to stay stealthy and it's going to allow you to flank around enemy spawns with ease so that is the first perk now the next perk that i use is dexterity i just like using dexterity just to reload faster it's definitely something that i do like to use with the k bar even though the bunker buster um variant which is the legendary variant does already come with extended max i do feel like you need the need with um dexterity just because it allows you to reload faster and especially with this gun this gun i do need to say you lose ammo very quickly just because it has a very high fire rate so that's why i use dexterity now the next perk i'm using is scavenger and scavenger is something very important of course when you're going to go on those longer streaks and especially if you're going to go with nuclears with this gun of course you do need to replenish ammo and i do definitely feel like a need to have scavenger with all of your class setup it's definitely going to allow you to go on higher streaks and that is pretty much the attachments and perks setup for this gun like i said 
this gun is amazing even though they did nerf it basically what they did with the nerf is they took away the four shot kill range which is something a little bit of a disadvantage to people but i still feel like it's definitely one of the best guns to use with this attachment setup definitely you're going to see that it is a lot of fun to use this gun and actually the gameplay that you're seeing right now is where i go 42 and 9 it was pretty insane and i wasn't even trying that hard and i almost got a nuclear as well unfortunately when i was at um seven the 17 kill mark uh yeah um the other enemy team had a warden and they called it in and that just pretty much messed me up and then i couldn't get the nuke which was kind of sad a bit but i mean I, i'm still happy with this gameplay i think it was pretty good i mean you can just see the sheer power of the k-bar of how good of it is in just any type of range but definitely the strong points of this gun is close range and close range engagements this gun just absolutely melts as a slapper i do need to say it's something very good and that what um, really makes this gun better than the mv4 is it's really good at close range distances and medium range distances so that's pretty much going to be the class setup for the k-bar guys i hope you did enjoy the video if you guys did make sure you do definitely drop a like guys that would really help me out and if you guys are new here to my channel make sure you do definitely subscribe for some more best class setups and tips and tricks in call of duty infinite warfare and i will be catching you guys in the next video so god bless this nation peace out guys peace